Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. We are back with another fragrance layering video. I think whenever I'm filming this video, I am planning on posting my first layering video, which I've already had pre-filmed for like such a long time. And also I did like a Valentine's Day themed layering video. I figured since a lot of the scents that I have already done have been more of like the sweeter, like a little bit more like a gourmand side, just because those are my favorite. But I also do love like fresh, clean. I also do like some floral scents in there as well. So I figured I would switch it up and today's theme is going to be more focused on like fresh and floral scents. So I have five fragrance combinations to share with you all today and in my opinion these smell really really good so I'm very excited for this one. I hope even if you don't really like like floral scents there is something in here that you would enjoy because there's some really good ones and I've definitely started to change my opinions about like fresh and floral scents over this past year. I've grown to really enjoy them and I just kind of like a little bit of everything. So there is a good mix. I do have like some more sweet floral scents thrown in here as well. So yeah, very, very excited for all these combinations. Let's just get into it. Okay, so this first one to me just screams Valentine's Day. It is just like red and pretty, like all these flow together except for one. One's a little bit off, but overall it's just a beautiful combination mixed with like rose and still a little bit sweet. So first off, we're going to go in with You're the One. You're the One is such a powerful scent. I actually didn't include the actual fragrance mist in any of these, but You're the One if you know you know this is a strong scent it is very perfume like it's more grown it is a beautiful scent in my opinion it has notes of white birch velvety rose and a drop of strawberry nectar it is just a beautiful scent like I love it ever since I first tried it I have loved this scent and I will probably always love this scent and even down to the packaging like they better not change this packaging because I think it's really cute it's just like the classic signature you're the one look and I feel like it does a really good job of like representing what it actually smells like it's just like a very powerful womanly scent so I love the bright red color. Now this is the one that throws it off a little bit but you know she works with this routine so we're gonna keep her. This is a Tree Hut Moroccan Rose Scrub. This is a classic. It's one of their like signature scents. You can always find it in like Walmart, Target, Ulta or online. It is just a true like rose petal scent so I couldn't think of a better scrub to include in this one. Also I don't have very many like floral scented scrubs so this is this is also like one of the only options that I do have but it fits in perfectly with this routine. I know some people like don't really care for it but to me it's like a very strong scent. It's one of those scents that you can really smell like on you as well. So yeah those are the two things I use in the shower. As far as out of the shower I did include deodorants in here as well and I love these Dove dry sprays. I know with these like dry sprays sometimes they're not going to give you like the most coverage throughout the day. You know they are like a lighter deodorant so if you are someone who kind of like sweats a lot during the day or if you are going to be using these during like the summer months you might need something else to add along with this. So sometimes I go in with just like a regular like stick deodorant and I'll layer these over top just because they do have like a nice scent to them. So the one I chose today is in Rose Petals. I have a bunch of these. I just love them mostly for the scent and it feels like very cooling under your arms. Like it's a very cold feeling whenever you're spraying this. I don't know why I had to like demonstrate, but yeah, I do like these Dove dry sprays. I'm sure if you don't sweat a lot, these would be perfect for you. Now getting into the actual fragrance. So I do have a body cream and two fragrances to mix together. So this is a new scent. This is Gingham Love and you guys, this looks so cute. Like this is a scent that you would wear on Valentine's Day if you're gonna go have a picnic in the park. Like this is what that reminds me of. And I love the original Gingham. I know there are some Gingham haters out there, but I love that scent. It's a go-to like, everyday type of scent for me. So this has notes of sugar red berries, blushing freesia, and rose meringue. It has this nice rose note added to it. I know a lot of people actually were comparing it to You're the One, and I don't think they smell similar necessarily. This is like a much lighter version of You're the One. You're the One, like I said, a very powerful, a very strong scent, and this is like more toned down. So if You're the One was a little bit too much for you, I feel like this one is a lot more wearable and kind of less heavy on the rose. There is like that berry note added in there, and it's just the perfect touch. Like how You're the One has that drop of strawberry nectar, I feel like this is just like a drop of berries. It's nothing too heavy. It's still more so like a floral scent, but it just makes it a little bit sweeter. And I love how it has a rose meringue note in there. So it's just more of like a light creamy scent. So to pair along with that also, this is from Victoria's Secret. This is Patchouli Rose. So it says on the back here, Patchouli Unearths Rose flowering peach spirited allure. Whenever this first collection came out, I was so unimpressed. I was like, this ain't it. But now 
I just think this smells so good. These smell more so like perfume, kind of like how that Elixir collection, that was more of like perfumey like scents. This is like a perfume, but it's like the perfect balance of rose and patchouli, which are very like strong notes in my opinion. Sometimes patchouli can be just like a little bit too strong in perfumes, but I feel like in body mist, I feel like these are very wearable. So even if you're kind of scared off by patchouli, I feel like this is still like a little bit lighter, but it's gonna give you that more like perfume vibe. When I layered these together, I loved this combination because this is also still like a fruity floral with that peach note added in there and this has the berries so they kind of like balance each other out a little bit. I just think they smell amazing together so yeah very very excited about this combination. I just realized I didn't even think of names for this routine so I'm just gonna think of these names off the top of my head. So we're just gonna call this one sugared rose meringue routine. Let's switch things up a little bit and we're gonna go in with something a little bit more fresh and clean, but it kind of still has like this tropical note added in there. First, we're gonna start off with a very fresh and clean scented body wash. And this one is from Olay. The bottle was leaking, so we're gonna ignore that. But I love these Olay body washes. Pretty much any Olay body wash, they have like a very strong scent to them, really good lather. And I love these ones in the bottle. Like it just looks so fancy. I love these. So this is deep sea minerals and coconut water. So there is like a little bit of a coconut theme in here as well. And I just feel like this is the perfect body wash to pair with this routine because it's still like a fresh and clean scent, but there also is that coconut note added in there. So I feel like this is a good one to start out with. As far as the scrub, I chose another tree hut scrub. This is Coco Colada. So this one is a little bit more fruity, a little bit more tropical than the rest of the routine, but I feel like this is such a good scent. I don't even like like pina colada scents, but this one I really, really like. Like I will never get tired of this one. And they just recently came out with this in a whipped body butter, which is really nice. So if you loved it in the scrub, you can now get it in the whipped body butter. That is my little in shower routine. I did choose another Dove dry spray. I think I chose a couple of them for these routines. This in the scent carrying coconut. I mean the coconut theme. Still like very fresh because it has that same like Dove deodorant like smell. It smells really good. I love these and I mean what else can I say about a deodorant? So that is like a very like fresh and coconut scent. But the fragrance combination here, these two were made for each other. Like I couldn't think of a better body cream and mist to pair along with this perfume. So the fragrance mist and body cream that I have are fresh coconut and cotton. This is a brand new scent. This has notes of coconut, coastal breeze, and beachside cotton. It is so fresh and beachy. You still have like that coconut note added in there. If you love fresh laundry, almost like dryer sheet like scents, you will love this one. To pair along with it, it immediately reminded me of Miami Glow by JLo. This is an oldie buddy goodie. It's been around for years and I know so many people love this scent. And I have to say, whenever I first got into this scent or like first bought it, I was a little disappointed because everyone described this as like a tropical scent. And I feel like the more I've kind of gotten familiar with the scent, I do get like that tropical vibe, but to me, this smells more of like laundry, like laundry detergent. It has a very clean, very like soapy scent to it with like hints, like a tropical note in there. But overall to me, this comes off more of like a fresh and clean scent, which now that I've grown to love those type of scents so much, I have started to like this one so much more. But yeah, that was something I missed from like a lot of the reviews whenever I was looking up that perfume because I was expecting something like very tropical and fruity. And to me, this is like very like soapy and like laundry detergent, which sounds bad, but these two together are gonna pair so well. This actually brings out more of that coconut coconut note that's more hidden to me in this perfume. So I just think this is a beautiful, like clean, beachy, tropical combination. I absolutely love this routine. So we're just gonna go ahead and combine these two and call this Fresh Cotton Glow Routine. Okay, so this next routine is kind of back into the florals, but this time make it a little bit sweeter. I love fresh, sweet, like more fruity type of floral scents. First off, we're gonna go in with this OGX body wash. This is the Rose Water and Pink Sea Salt Wash. It's actually a scrub and wash, but to me, it's more of just like a regular body wash. To me, even though it's a rose water scent, it smells very sweet, especially whenever you're using it in the shower. I love this one, and I mean, I love the color. Like, how adorable is this? I love the OGX body washes. I definitely wanted to include this one for more like a sweet floral routine. And I do have a couple other like shower products to include in this one. This is actually a shower jelly from Bodycology, which I've seen these before. Never actually seen them in store, so I did order mine through Walmart. And this is in the scent Sweet Love, which I love Sweet Love from Bodycology. You have a nice mix of like fruity notes in there that kind of make it a little bit sweeter. It's obviously mixed in there with florals, 
but overall this just makes for a delicious scent like even if you don't want to get this product specifically like in the shower jelly i definitely recommend it in like a fragrance mist they are super super affordable i love that about bodycology this is basically kind of like a body wash it is like very liquidy but you just scoop it out and use it like a regular soap as far as the scrub i grabbed one of the ones that i have from love beauty and planet this is in the cherry blossom and tea rose scent i would have liked something like a little bit more sweet because this is more of just like a true like floral scent i really don't think this is like a sweet scent at all it's not bad these are actually like very gentle if you guys haven't tried them they have a bunch of other like different scents if this scent in particular is not really your vibe i love like whipped and like foaming body scrubs they're just really nice to use in the shower and kind of help your skin feel a little bit moisturized as well actually now looking at all of them i did pretty much include a dove dry spray in all of them except for one this one i grabbed beauty finish i don't know what it is about this one but i just enjoy it so much it has a little bit more of like a powdery finish but to me it just makes me feel like extra fresh and clean i just love like that powderiness that you get from this deodorant it just makes me feel really good so i love using this one okay now we're on to the best part the scent combination so i use the same body cream and fragrance mist for this one and i do have a perfume to layer along with it this is velvet petals crystal this is a new ish collection like i think you would probably still be able to find it in stores now i love the og velvet petals like that is one of my favorite victoria's secret scents i just love so many of the flankers that they came out with Victoria's Secret, I think they do a really good job with the flankers. Every now and then, there'll be like a hit or miss, but I feel like sometimes the flankers that they have are better than the original. So this has notes of opulent jasmine, prismatic berries, velvet petals, beams with crystal energy. I really wish they would put more of like the actual scent notes or give like a better description because sometimes those little sayings on the back, I'm like, what does that mean? Basically, if you're familiar with the original velvet petals scent, it is somewhat like that, but to me, this is more fruity, a little bit more candy-like, which is kind of what made me pair it along with this perfume. So the perfume that I have is from Zara, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce this one. But basically, this is a dupe for Armani My Way, which I love that perfume like that is one of my favorite sweeter floral scents that's kind of what i think made me get into sweet floral perfumes it was that one that kind of started it all and whenever i sprayed this i was like this reminds me of my way which my way is such a beautiful floral scent if you don't like florals i think that's a really good like starter fragrance to get into because it is very sweet it has a beautiful like tuberose note in there that kind of smells like bubble gum this is like the more affordable option for that i love these are perfumes they're around 25 dollars, and pretty much all of them are dupes for other like high-end perfumes which i absolutely love because it kind of smells like berries and candy but velvet petals is also like a little bit more like a floral scent these two together make such like, a beautiful sweet but still like floral very like girly combination so you know i'm just winging these names off the top of my head we're gonna go ahead and call this one my bubblegum petals routine okay now this next one is another fresh and clean routine it's featuring a new scent which i'm sure a lot of you can maybe guess it already but i just had to include this one i couldn't do like a fresh and floral like routine video without mentioning this one starting off a brand new body wash to my collection from native this is powder and cotton that's kind of like the theme of this routine it's more like baby powder cotton like very like fresh and laundry type of scent and this isn't a new scent but it has been so hard to find around stores around me if you guys live in texas i saw it at h-e-b which is very exciting because usually you can find products either with like a coupon there or just like a little bit cheaper compared to other stores other than that i ordered mine on walgreens online i've been wanting this scent for such a long time and it literally smells like a very fresh baby powder and i love cotton notes and scents so this is just like right up my alley and i don't actually have like a powder or like cotton scented scrub but i wanted to go in with something still like very fresh so i chose this one from tree hut in the scent green tea and you guys i love this scent so much i'm not even usually into like those matcha green tea type of scents but this one is just so fresh and clean i just had to use it in this routine because i feel like it kind of ties it all together in the shower and it's just going to leave you feeling like squeaky clean which is like the best feeling so i had to go in with the matching native deodorant also in the scent powder and cotton this is just everything i would have wanted in like a powdery cotton scent i know the native deodorants are pricey though they are paraben and aluminum free so i personally really like them but i know there are like a lot of other scents to kind of get more of like that fresh like baby powder type of scent i know for sure like dove has some i feel like every brand pretty much makes some type of like powdery fresh scent but we're kind of keeping the theme of like that powder fresh scent and this is one from the brand called scottish fine soaps company i believe i see this all the time like at marshall's and tg maxx it's pretty affordable like this whole tub was 4.99 i haven't tried anything else from this brand but this right here 
smells like baby powder so I don't know if everyone's gonna be down with that but to me this just smells like very fresh it smells really good in my opinion and very fresh and clean and I think especially it pairs really well with the perfume I'm gonna mention first off the fragrance mist is a white t-shirt I mentioned this now in like a few videos. You guys are probably sick of me talking about this. Like, girl, we get it, you like it. But it really is so good. Like, it really is that girl. This is notes of crisp pear, fresh white t-shirt, lavender cloud, clean musk, and soft sandalwood. You guys, this smells like clean, fresh laundry. It is gonna have you smelling so fresh and clean. This is the perfect like everyday scent. You can wear this straight out of the shower if you're not doing anything. It's just such a beautiful like clean laundry scent. So to pair along with it, I also paired it with a new perfume in my collection from Soli Notes. This is called Cotton. And I love Soli Notes perfumes. They're pretty affordable. I ordered mine online because I didn't see it in stores. And this is basically baby powder in a bottle. It smells very fresh. It's like a little bit musky. There's also like some floral notes added in there. I would think more of like a white powdery floral. This routine just smells heavenly in my opinion. This is one that I would wear to bed and I would just go to bed feeling like the most fresh and clean person. This is like the ultimate like fresh and clean combination. So I'm going to go ahead and call this my cotton cloud routine. Okay now we're moving on to the final routine and this is another rose scented routine but it's still like very creamy and still a little bit sweet as well. I absolutely love this one. I don't know. This one might be one of my favorites as well. I like all of these but this one, this one smells very very good. Starting off just to kind of keep with that like milky creaminess to this routine, I went in with this Victoria's Secret Moisturizing Cream Body Wash. This is the scent Coconut and Rose and I've been meaning to get this one in like the body cream and the fragrance mist. I haven't picked it up yet. This actually smells very very good to me. I think because I'm getting into like more floral scents, I've been enjoying it a little bit more. I also went in with the matching exfoliating body scrub. I really like the whole like Victoria's Secret body care. Like, I really like their body washes and their scrubs. I like the body washes are very similar to some Something like the moisturizing body wash from Bath and Body Works because they are like very creamy they have like a really nice lather and I feel like the scent is pretty strong in them as well to pair along with that I went in with the Dove's dry spray and the scent powder soft I feel like I could have used this in like other routines as well it's like a very like powdery fresh scent yeah this smells just like very fresh and clean like you definitely could use it along with the native powder and cotton routine I'm pretty sure they have this like in the regular stick deodorant if you don't want to get the dry spray but the little scent combination here this smells so so good in my opinion. It's more of like a whipped rose scent. So of course because of that I went in with whipped rose latte. This came out, what was it? Was it for body care day? I think it was around that time. They came out with this collection and this one really surprised me. It was like, I was excited that it was like a latte scent, but I also didn't know what to expect with it being a rose scent. This has notes of crushed rose petals, cocoa flower, and whipped foam. This is such a beautiful scent. I've heard it's kind of similar to one of the Delina perfumes. I'm not sure exactly. I've never smelled it before, so I can't confirm that. Whatever it smells like, it smells really good. It's like a very creamy, sweet, but floral scent. It sounds weird, but it just works. So to pair along with it, I went in with this Victoria's Secret Mist. It's part of their Elixir line, and this is the one surprising surprisingly that I think I like the most. And this is Flirt Elixir. It has notes of Scarlet Rose and Pink Pepper. This is the one I think I was least excited for and it turns out I actually end up liking this one the most because it is a very wearable scent. It smells like a perfume. It's just like a tiny bit spicy because of that pink pepper note but I usually don't do like spicy notes like that but this one is just like very subtle. So yeah, I love this combination. I think all of these just like look beautiful all together as well. Like these were just created for each other. So we're just gonna kind of stick with the theme of Bath and Body Works and I'm gonna call this my whipped rose latte routine. So those are all of my fresh and more floral scented routines. Hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Hopefully there is something in here that you would enjoy even if you're not someone who typically likes those type of scents. And this video isn't mainly for you to go out and buy all of these products that you have to like mix all these together to get this perfect scent. I mean you can just kind of use what you have. It's hopefully to maybe bring inspiration to things that you have in your collection to help you use more of your products up and kind of layer things together. If you'd like to see more layering combinations like this definitely let me know your request in the comments down below. If you guys did enjoy this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already thank you all so so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye